Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a small, lightweight, entry-level travel trailer. This is a 2021 Forest River Salem FSX model 177BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Salem and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel that gives you three positives and three negatives about every single RV that we sell and review every single day at 6 p.m. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at one of the most popular units, the 177BH. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going? Good, we're still here in Tampa. Excited to take a look at this. Another small unit we're bringing to you while we have it in stock. They're going quick. Yep. But you know, as quick as they come in, we're trying to get them reviewed and, and uh, video out for you. Yep, and what I really like about this one is how small it is. No slide outs with bunk beds. At a yeah, price exactly. Price. Let's begin. Model is 177 BH, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 22 feet even. The dry weight is 3,226 pounds. And will the tongue weight? 446 pounds. Always remember, you do want to get weight distribution bars no matter what you're towing with. Up front here, this is an entry level travel trailer, and everything about this is about weight and price. So you do have a manual tongue jack. I do not hate that on this unit. 20 pound propane tank goes here, and then it is prepped for one battery right there. This is an entry level travel trailer. So they used aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. We do have a nice diamond plate rock guard there. It is ready for solar if you do want that. And you do have four point manual stabilizing jacks, okay? Coming down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights, a nice grab handle right here, okay? And then single axle, again, lightweight unit. Let's take a look at these tires. There's radials, I love those. D105-1010, oh no. ST205-75 R14, very nice. Right here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable. And then right here, this is nice, it actually has a black tank oh, flush. That is very nice. Water heater right here, and you even have a place for your power right there. Coming around the back, you do have a nice bumper. That's a great place to put your slinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier right there. Outdoor shower there, city water connection, and it is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And well, Furion's a sponsor of the program. And if you want to help support Matt's RV reviews and you happen to need a Furion backup camera, make sure you use our link down in the description below. That does two things. One, it takes you to Furion with a promo code already at, entered in, and that makes it so you can buy the Furion camera cheaper than what you could buy it for on a third-party website. Also, we receive a small commission, and it helps support the show. That's right. So if you need a Furion backup camera, make sure you use our link. We will link it down in the description below. Let's continue the video. All right. Thanks, Farion. <laughs> Finishing up with the driver's side. You have your cable and satellite hook up there. Very nice black and gray dump station right there. Very nice. Right here's your 30 amp power cord tucked away in there. I like how it has its own spot. And then right up here, we do have a little bit of storage right there. Now it's not past you, but look at that. That is very deep storage. It is. Very deep. Well, well, the outside of the travel trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right. So smaller travel trailer, like we said. So you got the bed up there, dinette here, kitchen space, bunks in the back, right next to the bathroom. Yes, sir. Ooh. Well, we're gonna get started up here. Very small, very lightweight, very nice travel trailer, okay? Okay. We do have this permanent bed fixture here, which I like. You do, I like the light colors in here. It is very nice and bright. You have a little bit of storage right there, a little bit of storage above. This is an east-west bed. And then, let's see if there's 
storage underneath. Yep, let's see. It's not on a hinge, which kind of sucks, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just the that storage underneath. So. Yep. Very nice, very nice. And then over here, there is no sofa, but you do have a dinette. The dinette does drop down to make a bed, and we have storage above here, and... Same here, and it does pass through there. Yes, sir. Very nice balance. You know, I like how it blends in well with the colors. And it's simple. You have your privacy blinds right here with a very nice big window. This dinette does drop down to make a bed, which is nice and it's comfortable. And this is just a very simple, very unique, very nice travel trailer. Wow. Well, well, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this travel trailer here is... $22,932 will MSRP. Wow. Sale price, as you can see here, we're not allowed to advertise sale price because it's 2021. But, Will, it doesn't matter. One, the MSRP is a good price by it itself. Is. But, two, we buy and sell so many of these that we're able to get everybody the best price in America. Will. Tell everybody how to get the best price. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmo.com or go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three sections. If you're ready to buy this RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV and you want to ask Will or myself, not a problem. Click tab number two and that sends us an email. We'll get back to you within 24 hours. Or if you just have a generalized fan question, not a problem. Click that third tab and we will get back to you ASAP. But Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. What's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Well, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So like we said, small trailers, a small kitchen. But we will show you everything. Nice storage up top here. You do have a Fury on. Oh, thanks, Fury, Fury on. <laughs> um, and then here, no backsplash, but kind of no backsplash needed because you have this nice big window. Yes, sir. It does open up, and that is on your campsite. Yes, sir. Nice single bowl sink. Wow, with very big. Two inserts. I like that. So that helps with the counter space in here when you it really does. When you're uh you know in a smaller trailer like this. Two burner graystone cooktop with the blue lights. Ooh. A little bit of store or a drawer there. And then some storage underneath here as well. Yes, sir. Right there. Very nice. Now is this a microwave or a convection oven? Microwave. I think a microwave, yeah. Okay. Did you open this? Yeah. Sorry. Nice. Um ever chill compressor refrigerator here as well very nice and then will it's now time for the tall test okay no promises on this one folks yeah this i can already tell you this probably isn't gonna pass but it's okay <laughs> bumped your head in this not bad not terrible i mean i still can't pass it but yeah not bad it has it was better than I was expecting. That's a really decent size. Yep, it sure is. All right, come on out here. Okay. Is that a plastic toilet? All right. Just sit on it then. Yeah. It's not going to get the prime pooping position. But actually, it's not it's in not a bad, bad position. It's just plastic. It's just plastic. Yep, but we can swap that out. Yeah. And, and, and I'll comment about that a little later. Okay. Okay, come on out here, Will. Okay. Noah. Uh, hmm, we're shaking this thing. We are, sorry. Noah uh, slide outs in this unit. And then check this out. We have pretty nice bunk beds right here. Oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Watch it. <laughs> Very nice bunk beds. Look, I got plenty of head space. The bed's a little high. I don't feel like I'm in a coffin. This is actually really, really nice, and I love the teddy bear mattresses. And actually, I mean, it's a single, but it's kind of like a big single. I really don't mind. I could, literally, I could sleep here as an adult. Really? Nice. Yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review, short and sweet. Now, before everybody goes, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like? Yes, I'm going to go first. Okay. You ready? Yep. One, I will say that the bathroom was an impressive size. Yeah. Right? But two, I like how they did not give you a sink 
in the bathroom. Right. So many times manufacturers do that, and I'm like, what's the point? There's a sink three steps away, and it made it so you actually had a really great toilet placement. They just didn't give you a porcelain toilet. Yep. That is one. Two. Um, I'm going to say... Can I say price point? Is that okay? No. Oh, I can't? Sure. Well, because the thing about it is, is this is a camper to get you camping. Yes, it's no, a camper to get you camping. You yep. know, nothing special. You know, it's a, it's a great camper, but there's nothing special about it. You're not getting auto or electric leveling. You're not getting electric anything, really. You know, it's just small. It's to get you out there, get you camping without breaking the bank. I'm going to combo that single axle, very lightweight. Yes. No slide. And, and, and then, um, you know, I'll just make it my number three. Number three is going to be no slide outs. Yeah. Single axle, very small weight, very light, price point effective. And I'm going to double combo that with the light interior colors. Yep. Because this is a small trailer, it makes it feel so big and spacious with the light colors. And I think they did a fantastic job on this. That's right. Great. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. You want to go first? I can. Okay. For me, it's gonna be this bed open thing here. Open um, it up. Yeah, it's just a pain. It was a pain, believe it or not, that hurt. I didn't like that there. Oh, it actually was hurting my finger. To, like, keep it open while right. getting stuff. Big All they had to the do butt. was put a hand chair, it would have been so much better. Or yep. a straw, it would have been so much better. I agree, that's really stupid. And, and I, I would have paid that. the 20 extra bucks. Yep, I 100% <laughs> agree. So that is number one. Two, I will say, I really dislike I really dislike this, the, when the burners are like that. It's not my preference. But I am going to say I don't like how it's a microwave yeah. and there is no oven. That is a good one. Yep. If, if you're not going to put an oven, I'm okay with that. But at least put a microwave convection oven. And I'm going to double combo that with they could have added a countertop you're extender right. right there. So that is two. And then I have a number three. You ready? Come on yeah. out. Even though this is entry level, even though this is price point, I hate these steps. Right. They could have had the fold up, flip up solid steps, like that clipper all the way down there, if you can see that. It just makes it that much better, that much nicer. That's worth the extra 200 bucks, if you ask me. Yep. Well, that's it. Well, that's the review, short and sweet. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews.gmo.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell, or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, you're gonna see direct competition to this unit in a video choice right there. Make sure you also check out that video if you're considering purchasing one of these. Will, do you have anything you wanna say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, like I said earlier, man, that thing was moving around so much, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said earlier, it's a small, lightweight, great price point trailer to get you camping. Yep. And that's what we're all about. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave in the comments below three things you liked and disliked. Smash the thumbs up button, subscribe. And also, we've been forgetting to say it, but um, if you want to connect to us on a more personal level, find us on Facebook, Club Art Deco, and uh, we'll see you there. Awesome. Good plug, Will. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching, and Will, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.